Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Remote ID. Now earlier this week DJI did a press release and showed some images of their vision of what Remote ID might look like in the future. And in this video I'm going to explain to you exactly what Remote ID is, how this might affect you and what countries this is going to be rolling out to in the near future. Okay, so to try and explain Remote ID in a little bit more detail, the whole purpose of this system is to allow drones to transmit via either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth flight information to allow people to pick that up on a standard smart device such as a mobile phone or tablet. And the idea is it allows authorities, police and governments the ability to track the current location of drones if they're flying in an illegal manner or they're flying somewhere that they shouldn't be. And the idea is anyone within range will be able to open up an app, they'll be able to see the flight information about the aircraft that is within range. And it's going to be a standard that's pretty much adopted across the globe and most governments are working towards getting this set now ready for introduction next year. Now the standard looks like it's going to be the ASTM standard and it's going to allow your drone to transmit this information and that to be picked up as I said by a normal smart device. Now within the USA this is still undergoing tests and it hasn't fully been finalized yet however the idea is to have the specification in place by the end of 2019 to move it forward into legislation in 2020 and 2021. In Europe however things are a little bit different because this has already been put into law and it will actually come into effect from July 2020 and the idea is every drone manufactured as part of the new drone requirements for the open category in the C0 to C4 class will be required to comply with all of the drone ID specifications. Now there are some quirks around what models need it and what don't but the basic basics are any aircraft over 250 grams that is going to be flown in the open category within the EU and UK will be required to have this drone ID. As I've mentioned this system works off Wi-Fi and the idea is that the aircraft will simply transmit this data alongside the normal information that it transmits back to your remote controller. Now the information that's going to be transmitted hasn't been fully set out in the USA yet however within the EU we do know exactly what that's going to be. The first bit of information will be your flyer ID or your drone ID that you will get from your registration scheme. So the software on the drone will allow you to put in the registration number that you get when you register in your country and it will then transmit that out as part of the information on this ID system. Alongside that it will also transmit the drone's dedicated serial number and that is the main serial number that was issued to it as from the factory. Now this will not be user adjustable and the idea of this is to allow authorities to be able to identify the kind of aircraft that was flying even if some of the other information isn't available. The third and fourth is the current location and heading of the aircraft and the idea is that it will transmit its current position as well as the aircraft's heading to give them an idea of what direction it's going. Now the fifth thing it's going to transmit is the more controversial one and this is either the takeoff location or the pilot's current location and again the idea of this is to allow them to identify where the pilot is should the aircraft be being used in an illegal or irresponsible manner and it is this last option that really has caused a little bit of stir because people do have some genuine concerns around their own safety and privacy having their current location or the takeoff location of the aircraft transmitted out for everyone to be able to access because this system is going to be an open system and as I mentioned it's going to be accessible on a standard smart device so as long as you've got the app and I suspect that there will be a whole host of apps available once this launches properly anyone that sees a drone in the sky will be able to simply open the app and as long as they are within range they will be able to see the current aircraft location its heading its speed as well as where it took off from and as I said it is that last option that has raised some privacy concerns and because of the EU introduced GPDR last year there is a genuine wonder around how that is going to come into play with this because at the end of the day there has to be some level of protection for the pilots as well as the safety for the public as well.
Now, how far will this system work? Well, because it's either going to be using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, there is going to be a limited range. However, because the aircraft is in the air, the reality is this system is probably going to be able to be picked up by a smart device within sort of three, four, five hundred meters, maybe even more if you're in an open area. So what DJI was showing the other day wasn't them specifically introducing a new feature, they were simply showing how they're going to be able to comply with the new rules that are coming within the EU next year. Um, other companies have been doing this as well and there's been a whole host of tests over the last six months trying to get this all in place, ready for the specification to be signed off at the end of 2019, ready to be introduced in 2020 onwards. Intel have also set up a website on this as well and you can see on here that they're showing their interpretation of the new ASTM standard as well and showing you how they think this may work moving forward too. They've also got a video at the bottom which shows it actually in use and you can see that they're using their Falcon drone and it's actually showing the information being picked up by the smart device on the ground, showing the current location of the aircraft and showing how this may be used in the future. Overall, drone ID is coming and whilst the EU are a step ahead of everyone else, the chances are most agencies and governments are going to be looking to push this through over the next couple of years. As we move throughout 2020, you're going to see DJI models and all other manufacturers evolve and actually integrate this into their system to comply with the new drone requirements within the EU specifically. And in the US, you're going to start to see this move through into legislation next year. So the chance chances are you're going to hear a little bit more about it. There are many upsides and downsides to this system and whilst I might not always agree with every part of it, the reality is this system is coming and as a user we're going to have to comply with it because it's going to be part of our systems. Now your current aircraft does not have this system as standard so don't worry, however that isn't to say that manufacturers won't be able to add this via a software update in the future because all of our radio systems are either using 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, they're all transmitting on that same band as Wi-Fi uses, so it's not going to be particularly difficult for them to introduce this layer of this remote ID system underneath the normal transmission link that your aircraft is using. And I do see many models probably produced in 2019 getting an update at some point next year to add this feature and this compliance to the drone. And that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to try and explain this and I hope that's made it a little bit clearer for everyone. Don't worry, it's not coming today, but do take into account this isn't specifically DJI forcing this out. The reality is this is legislation from governments all around the world pushing us towards this as we head more towards UTM and FINS. If you want more information on this, I will put a link to it in the description of this video as well. I hope the information has been helpful. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do also leave your comments about this in the comment section of this video as well because it is a controversial subject but the reality is it is coming and we're going to have to get used to it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and I will do another one again soon. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.